Good afternoon to everyone who is here to listen to this afternoon's teaching. So we are going to uh, begin with the teaching now, and before we do, everybody, please make an aspiration of bodhicitta with which to listen to the teaching. Today we're going to continue on uh, looking at what we were learning about yesterday. Oh yeah, then ta di de mani pa ta chuan so de mani pa in ji ma re ngar ngi de mani pa ngo la mar ta ngar so ngar so kha sang ge tin jang sam tin mar ta kan ri song do ze na mo le ta ji ja chi kum chok sum kum chok kan di ngo xian ri zi ke shi lo ta chi le men ji ru ni shi lo ta chu la yi tu dong song ne Andini so today we're going to start off with the verse that begins the undeceiving soul refuge is the triple gem. The essence of the triple gem is Chen Sig, having unchanging trust in Chen Sig with confident determination recite the six syllables. So uh, this verse is uh, uh, looking at, uh, from here we are looking at praying, how we go about praying to Chen Sig and uh, particularly by reciting the six syllables, whether that be Om Mani Padme Hum or Om Mani Padme Hum with a sh at the end of it. Uh, <coughs> In terms of the mantra of Chen Rui Sig, there are many different ways that we can go about chanting this mantra. 
For example, we can go about uh, chanting it primarily with an attitude of devotion or primarily with an attitude of compassion or primarily uh, from or with a correct view of emptiness. So what we're going to begin by looking at is chanting the Tenrisig mantra with an attitude of devotion. So, um, starting out with refuge, as Buddhists, we take refuge in the three gems, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. And in terms of our reason for taking refuge in the three gems, it is because in uh, relying on them and following the teachings of the Mahayana path, they will be an undeceiving or a completely reliable um, so, um, source of refuge in leading us along the path to liberation. ตะนี้กิรกึงเกตินิคาลายะปุญญ์เคนตะนี้คอรังลากิรกึงเกกาเรลลัมนาตะนี้กิรกึงกะลัปปะเตตินิยังตะปะโกเนตินิโลจงย
as to what path of treatment we should pursue. So if they advised medicine or whether they advised having an operation, we would have to take on their advice and put it into practice. And this way, we would have an opportunity uh, of curing our illness. Oh if, however, a patient didn't listen to the doctor's advice, the kinds of food they were told to uh, abstain from, they insisted on eating, or the kinds of action they were not meant to do, they continued to do, if the doctor t advised them to have injections or take medicine or have an operation if they were unwilling to do all of these things, then it would not be possible for them to treat their illness successfully. ตะนี้ตีกับสงอาจจะเป็นนะตะนี้อาจจะเกิดกันไล่นะตะนี้เกิดกันกันอารังละโทมาตาเกิดกันเงินกันจํานิมิตะนี้เงินขวางละโทก
and their patients and teachers and their students, all of them are humans and therefore have rights as human beings. The fact that they have uh, different roles and capacities in relation to each other is something that needs to be acknowledged as the fact it is. So the fact that the the, what the doctor is needs to be recognized by the patient and uh, the teacher's role and abilities and qualities needs to be recognized by the student. And um, this needs to be uh, respected. If it isn't respected, if uh, students and patients insist upon viewing their doctors and teachers as the same as themselves or equal to themselves, then it's uh, very difficult, in fact, might be be impossible for them to go about carrying out a proper relationship in relation to study or the treatment of illness, and refuge operate, operates according to a similar logic. So uh, we all are students and the uh, triple gem is our teacher. At the same time, we are all patients and the triple gem is also like our doctor. Jitinga so in terms of the relationship between a student and uh, their spiritual teacher, in a, uh, a secular context, then uh, looking at the, quality, the qualifications of one's teacher according to their uh, official qualifications as masters or PhDs uh, may be relevant. However, uh, in the spiritual context, the reason that we seek to rely on the teacher is because our teacher has realization and experience and we don't. They are therefore qualified in a way that we aren't and it's for this reason that we seek to rely on them. Um, and it is also for this reason that we go about um, taking refuge in the Triple Gem. <laughs> The <laughs> so uh, just as if just as if we is this working oh um just as if we 
uh, were to rely on or to find for ourselves a good doctor and we were to take the medicine that they prescribed, we would get better, we would recover from our illness. So too, if we were to find for ourselves a good teacher, then studying what they taught and putting it into practice would um, enable us to see good results in our study. And so too it is with our spiritual practice, putting our, um, our faith in the triple gem by taking refuge in the triple gem is um, a correct course of action. The triple gem um, are entirely um, non-deceiving. They are a completely reliable um, repos of our faith and refuge. It's not as if they undertake to be able to uh, dispel our afflictions when in actual fact they can't. It's not that they undertake to be able to lead us to, on the path to liberation, but in actual fact that they can't. So it's um, the triple gem are uh, completely deceptionless and for this reason a very uh, correct place for us to place our refuge. Hoy <laughs> Then I don't know, you chi go raise in it, then you eat cheat of Gomarezi, the you chi go re, you in the mudang around like you chi go raise it in the zena, the you chi marezi, you china, then you gimson go re, the gimson, the yabushisona, then you must not say in a you chi raise. That the uh, triple gem is in fact a uh, repose of refuge that is non deceiving um, and uh, deceptionless is something that we have to have faith in. It's something that we need to generate belief in. However, just saying it's necessary to generate belief or saying it's necessary to have faith is one thing. Um, in actual fact, without knowing the reasons why it's necessary to have belief or faith in the triple gem as being deceptionless, um, it's very difficult for us to generate this kind of faith. So for this reason, it's important that we gain an understanding of why it is that the triple gem is a safe and non-deceiving place for us to repose our um, faith and refuge. <laughs> In uh, Western, in the Western secular academic tradition, it is often said it's necessary to have a skeptical attitude to things. Uh, this might not be advocated in Western religion, but certainly in other fields such as science, this kind of inquiring or skeptical attitude is encouraged. However, in Buddhism, it is um, said that we need to have faith, we need to have belief. Is there um, a conflict or between these two? the insistence on inquiry on the one hand and the insistence on, on belief on the other. Then it don't go mati karere, tobati reta, the yichi diris. So what is it that we ultimately, that we do in fact need? Is it belief or faith that we need or is it uh, skepticism and an inquiring attitude? Then it's so chikshina nikati marezi, the it's possible to say that um, we neither need either, we need neither we need neither both of them or we need both of them. No, we need we need not either of them. Or we both of them we don't need or we need both of them. Yeah. 
Yichi chipu gohu rezina natele na chukum malayo yichi chambalayo yichi gorko tankela yichi chamala yichi na ndukyo amareze if it's said that we uh, need to, if we say that we need to have faith or we need to have belief well then is it then necessary or should we have belief or faith in everyone um, people who cheat people who steal etc tanina to to bat tak tak shini dena te ya boyo mare ze kare ze na pena ngara so ta nam tru gun ze ze nyu nyu gona ta ngara nam tru to thong enro menro samne tini to bat tak tak shini dena nga zo nam tru gun ze nyu nyu po ko mare sa ja kalan ro gona ro to ko mare and uh, just having an attitude of doubt all the time is not particularly good either. If, for example, when we go to buy an airplane ticket, we find ourselves constantly doubting whether the plane's going to fall out of the sky or not, then we'd never dare to go anyway. So clearly, yeah. having doubt just alone is not so good. So really it's not um it's we're not saying that it's necessary just to have faith or necessary just to have an attitude of doubt. So what we do need in fact is both of these things. However, in terms of the order of which these things should come, it we should first start off with an attitude of doubt and then through a process of inquiring, uh, working out what's what, what's right, what's not right, we then can arrive at a point of faith. But uh, the Buddhist teachings say that we should first start out with our um, doubt and skepticism. <laughs> If we start out at the beginning without an attitude of doubt or an inquiring mind, then there is a danger that the faith we may generate is one that is blind in nature. So uh, in, as the Western scientific tra- tradition emphasizes, um, doubt, particularly to start with, is a positive thing. In the end, though, what we need is belief and confidence. Um, these are both important as uh, the final stage that we arrive at. If we have doubt at the beginning and then doubt in the middle and also doubt at the end, then it is very difficult, it will be very difficult for us to actually accomplish anything in life. We will, off- we will constantly be in a state of wavering and hesitation. We won't be able to make up our minds about anything. So finally, what we are aiming for is um, an attitude of, of confidence. Then 
Yabuza Marizena, Ze Machini, Tinti Tanto, or Tinti Sansona, the Nichorangachu, Drubzena, the Tamachu, Mudrubzena, Tamachu, the Nitesum Gangala Lindo, or the Kachuji or Mare, the Gimson, your Mare. So it is in establishing whether or not the uh, triple gem are an undeceiving or deceptionless. Uh, source of refuge, then it is good for us to start out with an attitude of doubt and inquiring into the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha as our objects of refuge. Um, If, however, we never get beyond this attitude of doubt and find ourselves um, stuck in it for a long time, then this ultimately uh, won't be a positive situation for us. We'll find ourselves ultimately unresolved about whether the triple gem is in fact a good and positive and constructive thing. We will be um, stuck at, in a place of doubt. <laughs> Or So if we understand that uh, both faith and an attitude of doubt are things that we need and that um, in our path, then we won't find ourselves feeling a sense of conflict between the um, uh, advocacy of an attitude of doubt, um, for example, um, in in the scientific realm, and then the insistence on faith from a Buddhist perspective, um, by be able by being able to combine both appri- appropriately, then we will come along well in our practice. <laughs> Lotta chupa, tachopa, tennis, retati, then he kissy lot of chili, mingerwas, then he tacked chip as a penangato, mambas in nothing, not so, then he mamba ting money, mamba yang tabare, corn, fasum nam ta yonkin, then he lashi tinito, lasser, then he haliba chimbo yonkin, tennis yambating as a hako sarna, then he not so otta, Narangatini natti tinimar meba shiala, that mamba chuishi, the coranga carri, zena. So, Once we are able, through a process of investigation, to uh, resolve for ourselves that the Triple Gem is indeed an undeceiving, a deceptionless um, object of our refuge, then we will be able to generate an unchanging trust in them, a very firm and uh, strong trust in them. So just as if we were to establish that um, a doctor we had found was extremely well-intentioned and had our um, best interests in mind, was possessed of excellent skill, then in this situation we would be able to generate great faith in this uh, doctor's ability and we would listen to however he instructed us regarding the treatment of our illness. If he said take medicine, we'd be willing to do so. If he said have injections, we'd be willing to do that. If he said have an operation, we'd um, listen to that as well. So essentially by having this unchanging and very strong faith in the doctor, we'd be willing to do whatever he instructed. 
Tenga tu tenti zina chokje, te maen ba pe na mamba te nga tu korang samba yak boye maen nga tu hamago, teni korang yang mamba te teni lakser teni thombo yang ken teni tu ayam maen hamago, kaki mago na nga tu ada korang kanga man thong zina ngin thong kian, kap jab zina ngin jab kian korang nga kari chiz zina teng chiz kian teni zina, te pe nyang kacim boleh teni chiz jom mare song song kere. If, on the other hand, we had doubt as to the nature of our doctor's intentions and goodness of intentions, we also had doubt about how um, advanced his skills were, then we would also be um, doubtful and hesitant regarding his instructions for our treatment. So we would be perhaps unwilling to take the medicine he prescribed, be unwilling to do an option, an operation if that's what he told us to do, and there would this would be a very dangerous situation if this is how we found ourselves. <laughs> Nambasangi Bankar is your reason, I think, at all Lama in the Pena Lama Chiona, then Arangate, Coran Lama Latin Samna, Tambong, Tagor, and then the Lama Latin Jana, Coran, the name Lama Corangatin in Sanit, Dang Dangerewe, Coran Latin Saj, Chachin Pena, at all Lama Chigona, Pena Sango Dorji Tabaga Lama in Nati, Coran Lion Chachin, then his Sangore, then it Tapa Chimbo Lama in Nati, young Coran La. Chakin tindi tangore, the ninga so nyantu tini lama yena, the ni korangla, chakin tindi tangore, chakin te su manjaware, the ni chakin te tang duta mundu, maso yabos tak, the ni tani oda muni tani chakin te tama tangu tini korang muni tani lama muma tirindu, samba tini nishi yabos, and asanko tini soso ranga tacho sona, or tini maso. Maumbala tenita, chudri pikaps, ota lama tirangangala, dombandons in ang in dombandongian, lojong cheese in ang in lojong cheerian, then a kuranganga gum gubs in ang, then a gum gabguin, the kuranga chichi chimu go kuran lekalizina, nilekalian, then it tendu, ota kuranga chills in ang eating yang in some bag, then you nishi gore, or ding nishi tilatini, yet chishi tabaz, they are tendizla zegris. So in terms of uh, finding for ourselves a spiritual guide, it's also important that we investigate the Lama in question to see whether they are uh, possessed of sufficient qualification to be our teacher. Um, in respect of the different levels of qualification that are um, laid out, there are different descriptions or different requirements in the um, tantric, sutric, and the listener vehicles. In any case, depending on uh, what path we are following, it's necessary to establish whether the teacher in question is possessed of the necessary qualities or qualifications. And if we are able to, through our um, investigation establish for ourselves that yes this teacher really is in possession of these qualities then we will be able to generate a strong sense of confidence and faith in them and at this point if they instruct us to do recitations we'll be willing to do so if they instruct us to study the dharma we'll be willing to do so if they tell us we need to meditate we'd be willing to do so if they tell us that we need to um, do manual work, for example, we'd be willing to do that too. Whatever they advised us, we would be happy and confident in uh, doing. We would have uh, faith in them. And this kind of trust is what we call uh, unchanging trust. Then a young da young the Sam Lotane call a taxi di Rambochini, then she go yo song re, Lama in Nan Tendije, Matsupena, Sanga Dorjit Habaganala, Matsumoni, Tani Lama Chitena, Lu Chini Barta, then in Lama de la Tashishini, Koran Yanta Bajeta Maritani, then in Lu Chini Gini, then in Aranata Kumuni, Tani Lama Ziati Rindu, Koranga Tadwi Lamia Botonsare. Koranga lam loba, lam shinjaloba, tindis ganala, church mare, then it tachok and do some na, 
so it's very important that we properly investigate our uh, a uh, potential spiritual teacher before we go about placing this faith in them. So in the uh, Vajrayana uh, teachings, it is advised that students investigate a teacher for a period of 12 years before deciding or resolving whether or not um, this teacher is an appropriate um, teacher to place one's faith in. Um, and if through a process, a long process of investigation, a long uh, process of reflecting about uh, the teacher in question, one is able to generate a strong belief, a strong faith in this teacher as being able to lead one on the path to liberation, then this is an unchanging faith. This faith um, where we have no doubts whatsoever that the teacher will lead us on the wrong path um, is um, is central to this kind of faith. And if we are able to generate this, um, this degree of faith, then we will be able to practice like Milarepa and in his ability to follow whatever course of action he was advised by his own um, teacher. even though it's said that uh, we should investigate a teacher for a period of 12 years, that's not necessarily something that's easy to do these days. Um, so in situations where a teacher is uh, very renowned, their qualities are widely known, um, there are many who are familiar um, with their qualities and confident in their qualities, such as Dundra Rinpoche or Trinley Norbo Rinpoche teachers such as this, then it uh, wouldn't be as necessary to spend so much time uh, investigating their qualities. However, in a situation where the Lama in question is unfamiliar to us or not widely renowned, then this would require a longer period of investigation in order to be confident about their qualities. Then it's Chulayan Tetan Jaburi, Chulayan Matsu Tashit Mambo, Shinitini, the Gori, then it's Chuti, Yanta Bajeta, Marit, in Natsu Tashi, Yanta Yan, Yantiche Gori, Mato, then in Natsu Yan, Chuti Yanta Yenda, Mayimba, then a Chichi Ham Makoni, then in Yan Slim Jana Kanji Jendro, then a Hago Maris, Jeti Yena, then Natsu, me Parazuka. It's, it's also uh, necessary for us to adopt this uh, attitude of investigation in respect of the uh, Buddhist teachings as well. If we, uh, it's necessary that through a process of inquiry we go about uh, establishing uh, whether or not we uh, establishing our uh, belief in the uh, teachings. If we have not engaged in any process of inquiry and simply uh, launch straight into practice, then uh, we might not um, have particularly uh, good results in the long term. However, insofar as how we should go about investigating the uh, content of the teachings, this is something that we need to learn about. 
Tenir Chute yang tak bayi inda mayang kat ini takshit gandi guni takshit sih gore ti legus cikat ti sama ti sih yore ti la tanah yang boy yore. Ah, for ordinary people going about uh, establishing whether or or the correctness of the Buddhist teachings is uh, not in fact a particularly easy thing to do. It's necessary to learn about how one. Uh, actually engages in this process. For those who are uh, perhaps strong learners, strong students, or particularly interested in this, then uh, the text, the Tsame Namjo, in the first chapter, outlines the um, mode um, or process of investigation, how we actually do go about inquiring into the correctness of the teachings. Insofar as how we go about investigating the content of the teachings, in the sutra of Anand entering the womb, the Buddha has some very uh, crucial words to say about this. Then you can do some more is on a tiny Sanji Chumden de Gatini Gaola, Tiny Gao, Kyoranga, Nyatini Kyoranga Tumbar, is it? Not Kyoranga Tumbar, it didn't need Shapatis or only Tumbar, it didn't need Shapari, Tindy, Dembari, some need to reach your uncle Massam somewhere. Um, and in this sutra, the Buddha uh, says to the king, Tomba, um, Tomba, Tomba, Sanji, Shajatapa, Taoshu. Okay, let's see. Uh, um, don't uh, just because I am your teacher believe in what I am teaching. Uh, don't put your faith in uh, my words just because I am your teacher. Then, Gunga, Gao, Tini, Chorang. Namjin tinite ngarang la tinite gabu shikari zi. Chua ngarang la gabu shikari zi. Tindi ta sanji yu sona injiri isam ni tini kyorang ka ngala tsi wa yore zi. Mzachik, mzachik yore zi. Mzachik ti jimsun di shi ni o sanji yu sona bati yinsari isam ni kyo tindri ma asam son yore zi. And don't uh, simply believe in the things I say or the teachings I give um, because you have affection for me, that you have good feeling for me. This is not um, a basis on which to believe what I say. And and uh, don't believe in me uh, just because of my appealing physical appearance. Then it jams it, I gave Jones in a chum yam silin curry. Then it curanga na, then it jams it, I gave Jones, gave Jones in a yam lin shin kunga, then it shoot top and tumbo janga, then it more, then it jay, or the injury, this one I injury, some nature, then it am some sort. And also don't simply believe in what I'm saying because uh, you think that I am a great realizer. And 
And what the Buddha did say to the king was, what you should do is take yourself away to a place of isolation and reflect for yourself on my teachings. And through a process of reflection, establish for yourself whether you think they are correct or not. Um, this is how the Buddha instructed the king. So, in general, we do emphasize the importance of faith. However, uh, if the um, insisting on the needing faith uh, continuously, um, it's uncertain how this will be viewed by people um, from the Western tradition. However, we are in need of faith and belief in respect of any kind of task that we undertake or any kind of action that we engage in. If we uh, don't have belief in what we're doing or faith in what we're doing, then we'll constantly be in a state of doubt, one in indecision constantly. Um, so faith and belief uh, we need in respect of our worldly actions and uh, undertakings, and this is something that we ultimately do need to have. Despite the fact that um, belief and faith is uh, necessary in Buddha's practice, the Buddha never said that uh, you uh, shouldn't in, uh, have inquiry, you shouldn't do analysis, you shouldn't reflect on the teachings. On the contrary, he uh, insisted on these things, inquiry, analysis, reflection, thinking about the teachings for oneself, and then um, emphasize the importance of faith and belief as a result of having engaged in this process. So in my view, then there is uh, no conflict between the Buddhist approach and the Skepticism that is advocated in the Western tradition. Kuti so once we investigate um, and inquire into the correctness of the three jewels as an object of refuge, uh, we are able to establish our faith and belief in them. Um, Chen Re Sig, our faith and belief in Chen Re Sig, he is considered uh, his body is considered to be the Sangha, his uh, speech to be the Dharma, 
and his mind to be the Buddha. So in Chen Rizig, he is the embodiment of all the three objects of refuge, and based on the confidence that we generate him, we pray to him with devotion and in so doing recite his mantra. Practitioners who uh, recite Chenri Sig's uh, mantra with faith, those who do so without faith, those who do so with uh, selfish motivations in mind, all of these uh, three different types of persons and practitioners are very, very different. Lamkala the difference between a practitioner with faith and uh, devotion going about uh, Chen Risig practice and uh, someone without faith is extremely, uh, the difference between the two is extremely great. So a person without faith um, chanting the mantra of Chen Risig is like chewing the bark of one of the tall trees on the side of the road. Ultimately, there is no taste or flavor through chewing this bark. Um, if someone with good faith, um, strong faith in Chen Resig um, engages in his practice, then for them it is like chewing on sugar cane or tasting honey. This is the difference between the two. Then it's chula jimjik shinkinzina. Of course, if a person is a researcher into religion, it's still possible for them to do their research well without having a uh, religious faith. However, for a practitioner of the Dharma, um, it's important, it's extremely important to have faith. Um, without having faith, one can't really engage in practice. So should we um, have faith first and then recognize the qualities of our teacher or should we recognize the qualities of our teacher first and then faith follows in this? Uh, generally speaking, we first uh, inquire or investigate into our uh, teachers' qualities and upon establishing that they are uh, true and in possession of these qualities, we generate faith upon this basis. <laughs> It's uh, possible also that if we um, haven't 
engaged in a um, process of investigation into the teacher that nevertheless through appreciating the benefit that the teacher brings to us and particularly the benefit that they bring to our minds, we generate uh, faith on this basis. If um, we don't first engage in a process of investigation, but the Lama in whom we place our faith is, in fact, um, a uh, possessed of or a qualified teacher and possessed of good qualities, then it is uh, not such a big issue. We will have placed our faith in them and ultimately they will be a worthy um worthy object of our faith. However, if we place our faith in a teacher in this hurried way without having engaged in investigation, then if the teacher in question is not a proper object of our faith, then there is um, some risk here. <laughs> Jigyon if a uh, practitioner has very strong faith in their teacher, then when their teacher uh, still lives, then uh, clearly um, the object of their faith is still around them. Uh, if a person of particularly strong faith in the event that their teacher is um, has passed away, this is uh, not a particular problem. They are still able to generate an extremely uh, strong sense of faith and uh, towards their teacher and to feel a very close connection with them and there is ne no sense of distance between themselves and their teacher despite the fact that their teacher has um, passed away. <laughs> This is something really that needs to be understood at the level of experience. It's something that's difficult to explain in language. So as um, practitioners of the Dharma, it's um, not good if we are too rigid in our thinking and too rigid in our approach, if we s insist upon investigating and analyzing everything. On the other hand, if we are too uh, acquiescent, we agree with everything, we go along with everything and accept everything very easily, then this at the same time is uh, not a good state. So we really need to uh, learn about how to walk a middle way between both of these extremes. <laughs> Uh, for people with um, very uh, strong faith, then even if they aren't uh, uh, particularly practitioners, it's still possible for them to have uh, a very special experience. 
Tapati gores and not a number in a tesigres. Pets hang patso and sang like each she go resit. It is a good was it. Did a chick parasit, sang pa, sang like each she go resigre. Rita in a young Jimson may be going each she go desigmare. Then you not so number in a tapashi go resit, tapas in a chili, tapashi go res in the tinted song or ready. Curran Jimson chichi may be toned tapashi go resit, and the song your marriage. So uh, the importance of uh, faith is emphasized in, in the uh, Buddhist teachings. Belief is something also that uh, scientists say we need. They say that we need to believe in science. Um, they don't say, however, that this uh, belief should be based um, on nothing. It's clear that we need to have reasons um, underpinning our faith. And so, too, it is with the... Um, faith that the Buddhist teachings um, emphasize. This faith is not claimed to be one that should be easily um, placed in the teachings. It's one that should also come about through knowing the reasons for placing one's faith. So by generating a faith in Chen Sig in this way based on an investigation into um, his correctness as an object of our faith, we um, generate a strong devotion towards him, and uh, whilst uh, generating this devotion, we go about chanting his mantra. Practicing in this way is uh, one Chenresig practice. It is a practice that is done primarily with an attitude of devotion. Uh, the second kind of Chenrisig practice that uh, we can engage in is one that is uh, based on an attitude of compassion. So, moving on to the verse that begins with compassion is the root of the Mahayana path, vast compassion is the only path of all the Buddhas. Um, here, what is being emphasized is that bodhicitta is the very essence of the Mahayana path, the Mahayana teachings. Without it, we can't speak of uh, Mahayana practice. So, uh, practices in the Mahayana tradition, such as Dzogchen or Mahamudra, without an attitude of, um, or the mind of bodhicitta underpinning them, then they cannot be considered to be Dzogchen. They can't be considered to be Mahamudra. Um, the aspiration of bodhicitta is extremely important. It's the very essence of all Mahayana practice. <laughs> Then 
Namjin teni da chutun chutun namsia na te teni shia degi oret. Personally, whenever I give teachings, at the very beginning, I always start out by addressing bodhicitta, asking, talking about what is bodhicitta, why we need to generate this aspiration, and how we go about doing so. Then in your matak baro shi anchi bichi sem teni mambo shi adana teni me mambo sambaki yongon doze. Talking about bodhicitta in this way at every single teaching, many people find themselves growing annoyed. Yeah. Then he, then he been angry so such as Yambala, then he chutu shanna, then he also Java go thone, then Zambala go me mambo zuk nyan dega yore, then he kashi nga te zeyong do. Or terang, terang go chushi atserti la yergin doze. Chere ze, then terang chushi anchi bichi shan masong azen doze. And some people even say, because uh, quite often my teachings are broadcast so that people in other parts of the world can listen to them, and uh, it's been said to me before that uh, after students have listened to my teaching that today my teaching improved a little bit. And uh, when I asked why this was, they said, well, because today you finally didn't talk about bodhicitta. <laughs> <laughs> so they think that without bodhicitta, this is an improvement. Of course, you can't blame them for thinking like this. Each teaching is only an hour and a half in length, and every time we talk about bodhicitta, there goes by another half hour, tomorrow another half hour, so I suppose it's understandable they think like this. Um, Despite this, uh, whilst this may be the case, uh, not talking about it is uh, not okay. That in the Yamling Gatola, the Ningazo Shanship, the same the Yamling Tamboshe Gore, Penangazo Pama or Salang Lion, Losum Tanantini, Da, then the Jigu Tanga and Mambutin in Duke Sarndu, Tatayan Tini Mambundukundu, then a pair of Bohali by your body, the Yena Tini Savati, then the Shay and Shaker Yojiri Tatini, Savati, the Nitin Shanship, the same Gutoni, then Drogo Rez, the Penadanga Sundinina, Mamma Tini teacher, the Dunjum Rambochi, the Chugitini, don't you train or Rambochi. คงนําบาเกตินีตาดิชาร์จตาตินีติญัมสเลญยาตาตะสุซังมาคงนําบาเกตินีชักลินระบุตินดิเชยองดิเตงโนเนตานิติโตลาตินีตะยังตะบาซ
Tani lama zanshu pe lama yakbo te kanji zega reza na te zimfer ka nam na la tani parni rotong ken tani rungo te so thomen rotong ken tani zela lama zanshu zega reza na tani zega ndu guze tani zena ndu sare zega. Jesus ni ngo masong ken boda. Lama dikshu te tani shanshu ke sem yong ken te ta nga so shanshu ke sem chikbo matong jamba chang me pa te ta nga so lama la lama tangbo tani lama rambang thumbo tani lama jang jang. Lama dikshu, lama kyushu, rambak sem shi na. Tani shangshib ke sem shi po ma to jamba chan mengkin tindu zi na. Tani korang la tani lama dikbo zi. Tani zimshir ke tani nam nang la tani par ni shan par par shi ni ndro tong ken tindu zi na. Tani lama yekbo, lama ang tombo, lama thumbo. O tindu zi zi na. Te che so ta nan zi ke ndu zi. So bodhicitta also informs how we understand the uh, qualification of a lama or the qualities of a teacher, a spiritual teacher. So if we were to um, uh, categorize spiritual teachers into three levels with a lower level, a middling level, and then a top level, if we were to say that uh, the absolute lowest, worst, most base um, type of teacher, um, the third category was one with bodhicitta but nothing else. Um, however, the uh, toppermost category of lama would be ones that are, are able to fly through the sky and soar across mountaintops. Would this, would, do you think that this kind of categorization is an appropriate one? Kembo says this, he thinks it's probably quite okay. What do you think? No. Did you say that this is the same thing? Lama Zang Mao Zang, Lama Zang Mao Zang, they are the same thing. Uh, do you think that this is okay to categorize lamas in this way or to uh, define who is a uh, qualified or good lama from an unqualified or bad lama in this way? If a lama can fly through the sky, this is amazing, is it not? <laughs> Ah, both of the categories. Wow, yeah. Then it's Tarong Jamba. Is there anyone who has an opinion as well? Pecha di nam 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 deni pritup kanka lama da deni di rang shing deni tien shing ko deni da chan shu sim da yosa reis. Karti me na? What if he doesn't? Then I'm so kanzishi. Go then he chances to be a you miss. Nam 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 par na chances to be same you ni pa yo mare. Nam 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 par ke mambu yo. Flying through the sky isn't a sign of having body cheat. If there are many who can fly through the sky. I've never seen a single one. Then nam yong tu man yong ah. Tu man yong ah. Tapi lama nam lama nam nang lampar kan? Tapi hal apa nyonya orang asam tu mana nyonya? Tapi yang cepat jisem yang kan? Tapi mampu yo jere. Jisem. Asam nam nang lampar kan? Kalau lama tin tuh jem mendu aze. Tapi kar cembur aze. Tapi yang cepat kesem yang kan? Kalau lama mampu yo jere. Oh, put him a dog in. Okay, so probably there are a lot of lamas possessed of bodhicitta who can't fly. So it's said in the biography. Yeah. So it's said in the biography. Uh, what does everybody think is most important, being able to fly through the sky or having bodhicitta? 
kar se so ta kuch sama body cheat body cheat se oh yeah 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 ta te na te inji cheez yeah inji res oh ta te ta te inji chano so te re samna te inji cheez yes yes this is right yeah oh yeah ta te inji ending acho acho lama ga te ni rim lama ga te ni amma amma bi chat ze na di shen ze na So the absolute minimum requirement for a uh, religious guide is that uh, he or her be in possession of bodhicitta. Namna la kyoron parchona tona ya bore matona mkyonse. And if they're able to uh, fly through the sky in a, in addition to this that's fine but it's also not a big drama if they can't. Yeah. Mm. Then also poor now ni you be then kunchi the the with the parpad ni then ni chichura gangli na la jab de pagati with the aso na la mzadna then aso kale yar kya hon gares no aso mo poor na na you be then you kunchi the par me pachi ni oh ya kha with the par me pachi ni then chichu nam lang don kan doa So if it were possible to for us to expel the air or gas that we have in our stomachs and to fill ourselves instead with the air that is in hot air balloons then it would be possible for us to also gradually levitate. Ah ya tindi indi Namla korom pertona chokore madona chakare So flying through the sky if the teacher is able to do this is fine and it's also no big deal if they can't Then aranto la madna la parna ngatso la ji panto yo mare mamparna panto ji yo mare ji If I Mamparna no ba ji yo mare ji It's in terms of their uh, capacity to benefit us uh, not being able to fly through the sky is of no big relevance However, if uh, our teacher is in possession of, or our teacher possesses bodhicitta, then this is able to be of direct benefit to us. Whether, uh, however, if they don't have bodhicitta, then this is something that is harmful to us. Oh yeah, then the inside thing, that's lama in na. Then I don't know what the. Ngaso lama tang in the lama ting the yin sam ning ngaso lama ting di ting guna tani sarjin tumbu mena yang ta mamu yo na chokore ma shu te kang re zina tani shang chim ji sem re zin tani shang chim ji sem te me tsardi tani ngaso ta ba chim bo go lama ta ta shi yo ma re ta jam ba konang la yun ting kandi yo yan di yun ting chim bo yo na te korang la shang chim ki sem me ba ting di re tsai bi jini te ngaso go lama ki chakin sang ka ma re zin So, uh, bodhicitta is really the basic minimum requirement for a uh, spiritual teacher in the Mahayana tradition. Uh, if this bodhicitta is absent, then uh, irrespective of what other qualities or abilities uh, a teacher may possess, they are not qualified or they lack the criteria for being a spiritual guide according to the Mahayana teachings. Oh yeah, then the then I got to Papa Tiji Chimbo, got some Dingi Nam Kala Gum. Oh yeah. Then I got to Simchen Tamche Bola Nyarji ki. Then Nyarji Yaboki, Shanchi Kusimki, Nyarji Halipa Dini, Nyarji Chimbo, Kini, then Muni Dini Chumayungada, then you Dini Nyarji ki. Then it Nani Denita, not so Manandon, or Manaba Mehose Manandona, then it the Papa Tiji Chimbo, then it Jubli Yashupe, Yashushi did it is. So visualizing Chenrezig in front of us and through generating a really strong sense of compassion to all other living beings, a compassion so strong that we, uh, that tears fall from our eyes, we go about uh, chanting Chenrezig's mantra. And uh, this way of practicing on Chenrezig is uh, one of the best practices. Oh yeah, then you got to Kunzup 
So among uh, the various forms of relative virtue or relative merit that we can speak of, so that is uh, merit or virtue that is not informed by a recognition or the wisdom of emptiness, there, uh, there is no other form of relative merit that can surpass uh, those of uh, faith or belief and compassion. In our uh, current society, compassion is something that is very much in the, on the decline. Most people uh, conduct their lives thinking about themselves and their own selfish interests. People who uh, exercise or have compassion for others are in fact very rare. And it's for this reason that we experience so much suffering in our minds. As practitioners of the Mahayana path, uh, before we begin in any other kind of practice, recitation or meditation or whatever, the most important thing is that we first work on strengthening and generating our compassion uh, for other beings. And this is how we should start off our, um, the beginning of our practice. So the Mahayana teachings um, urge us to view all living beings as equal, to view them with a uh, profound view of equality. And um, in the best situation, uh, we should or we would be able to view other living beings um, the same as our parents or our own sons and daughters. This is uh, what is recommended by the Mahayana teachings. Uh, in, at the very least, we should be able to, or we would be able to look upon all other living beings in the way that we do our own pets, our own dogs, or our own cats. This is also what is said. If we're able to do this, then it's possible for us to begin to have a sense of concern for other living beings. And um, our... Uh, we from this point begin to be concerned about the situation of the suffering of other, other beings. And 
And after we understand that other beings uh, experience suffering, then we begin to uh, generate the wish to um, help them be free from this suffering or rid them from this suffering. Tani ta nga su simcheng ke dengur ti me pakan di che go re sam na ta nga su sam lo mambo ta di pe na parur tu chen ba chik so ne tani san ji ke tin di so ya re ti na pe na nga su cha chen yo ba tin di zi na pe na ti ni mo jo bo tin ni mo tin di ke du bo tin di ro ba go sa tin di yo na tani ju so so la ngu bo tin di jin di yo na jin te ma yin ba pe na na pa nda tin di yo na tani ko ran la na yo yin na re ju ro ba kan di che go na tani che in so so far as how we go about um, assisting other beings in reducing their suffering, uh, the six parameters uh, educate us about the importance of generosity. So, um, or beginning from uh, the point of generosity. So, people who have somewhat better material uh, conditions, they can support people who are impoverished or disadvantaged in economic or in material ways or by assisting the sick. Um, this is um, helping others through engaging in generosity. <laughs> Quran Sola Dini Suso Dini Sherb Yaboyo or Tendishi Quran Sola Sherb Yaboyo Dita Tendishona Dini Pantong Matin Nambasanji Samla Deri Sam Guyores. And even though uh, generosity is something that we should engage in, this really isn't the main point of uh, the Buddhist approach. Um, in fact, uh, what the uh, Buddhist approach emphasizes is assisting others in establishing them in a state of wisdom. And this is how we would go about benefiting them in a more long lasting way. <laughs> Tendi <laughs> So um, we need to uh, think about what the best approach would be to take. For example, in um, Africa, in a place where people are extremely uh, impoverished and not well off, would it be better to go there and to give them uh, all they need in terms of food and drink, to provide them with clothes, to build houses for them? Or would it be better in this situation to go to this place and instead um, teach them the skills that they need to improve their own situation so that they can put them into practice themselves and build their own houses and grow their own foods? What does everything, everyone think would be uh, the more preferable approach to take? Of course, if we're just thinking in the short term, clearly going straight in and giving people whatever they need is going to give them uh, this kind of short term benefit. However, in the long term, which would be the more preferable approach? Which does everyone think would be better? The R. Yeah, Nibari. Niba. Yeah, that's all this. Niba, it is. Oh, yeah. Then in Nambar, it is your is it? Not so Nambar is in a. 
Pena Choran la Natiz and Nature of Batiz, she, Choran Poat is a tona, Nature Zamat is a tradition, Yaporez, Rizzi. Rit is so the Choran la Dumurtis or Gani, you want the Kosola Parlap, or then you cause a ranga tapshi in a Choran Ranga Dumurti, Marmebashi, or they she go remat or Bangato, Taitiran Gena, Sanin Gena, Talu Gena, Sampo Gena, Tamato Mutsila Giniata, Dini Kiva Nikiva Bartangatu Par Gini, Pantagona. Pantacamare, Cosola, Nil Hagoa, Mucho, Tendicina, Tene, Tega Resin in Namba, Tesere, Tendicina, Namba, Soti, Longshu, Jimbao, Zo, Shigamare, Zo, Sherp, Jimbao, Zo, Shigri, Chuchi, Jimbao, Zo, Shigris. From the uh, point of view of the Buddhist teachings, to um, help a sick person uh, by giving them medicine or by giving food to someone and relieving of their, them, them of their hunger is uh, all good courses of action. However, the primary contribution that Buddhism makes is teaching people directly as about what the source of their suffering is so that they can go about doing away with it themselves. So if we are always in a state of giving directly to people, giving today, giving tomorrow, giving them for their entire lives and even beyond that, then people ultimately won't be in a position to uh, recognize the underlying principle or the underlying logic that explains the reason for their suffering. So for this reason, um, Buddhism primarily doesn't emphasize material giving or material charity, but uh, rather the charity of giving the Dharma or giving wisdom to others. That is why we have to do the same thing. 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 So by looking at things in this way, um, it is um, possible for us to generate the uh, wish to instruct other uh, people as to the cause of their suffering, how it comes about, how it is related to ignorance and disturbing emotions. Oh, yeah. Then you know, then you see, 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 then you meditating on compassion and uh, generating compassion for other beings, we find ourselves shedding tears, then this is something that is extremely meritorious, extremely virtuous. In terms of the tears that we have already shed ourselves over our own uh our own selfish desires, our, the things that we haven't achieved, the things that we haven't obtained, etc., then the amount of these tears would be enough to fill an ocean or to fill a river as big as the Ganges or even bigger than this. However, these tears are of, are of no use whatsoever. If, however, in the course of uh, meditating on, or on compassion for other human beings, we find ourselves uh, shedding tears uh, due to our compassion for their suffering, then even one teardrop is um, so meritorious that it would be able to purify 
our negative karma, karma accumulated over the course of many kalpa. If in the course of one day we were only to meditate for five minutes on compassion and were to shed a tear during this time, then uh, this would be an extremely uh, well and meaningfully spent day. And the same could be said of a period of one week if we were to practice um, uh, meditating on compassion for just five minutes in the course of one week and were during this pra- practice to shed a tear for the sake of other uh, living beings, then this would be one week simile that was extremely uh, meaningfully passed. And the same could be said uh, for one month. This would be an extremely valuable month if we did this. And so uh, for ourselves, we need to uh, investigate and check ourselves over the course of a month as to whether we are able to generate compassion for other beings in this way. Some people uh, don't have a feeling, a strong feeling of compassion for others in the course of an entire year. And some people for an entire lifetime. So if we are able to uh, practice in this way uh, once a month or, or uh, once a week, then this is uh, already something that is very meaningful. Uh, so generating compassion in this way or uh, seeking or looking at whether or not we are in fact generating compassion in this way, we um, meditate on, uh, we, we practice on Chen Resig with an attitude of compassion, chanting his mantra. The Chen Resig mantra, in fact, is um, ex- an extremely extraordinary one. It, it being an embodiment of compassion, we can see it, in fact, to be the essence of all the Buddhas in this mantra. Uh, 
By practicing in this way with a very strong uh, attitude of compassion, it is um, possible to experience an extremely blissful and extremely happy feeling. Um, so not just in respect, or this is not something that is of benefit in relation to our practice, but also in terms of just our uh, concern, our, the, this life, as it were, uh, this um, blissful and happy feeling is um, beneficial. Dingatsuri <laughs> And if we're able to generate a strong faith and strong compassion and practice in this way, then it's possible for us to dispel our fears. So we all have many fears. Some are fearful about their uh, future lives. Other people have, have fears in relation to this life, uh, whether or not they will get sick, whether or not their um, fortune will turn out well or not. Um, in either case, by uh, generating a strong attitude of faith and compassion, it's possible for our fears to be dispelled. Then it tapada nyaji then yo sona then it also berna da mum mojambayena then it ang arana nat then it na eung sam then it aranga lipola then it nat then it sujimea jujimea then it ayung meung sam then it mambo toba toba dang jewa dang then it jistak that in the mambo yore then mu. So for a person, most or many people have a lot of um, hopes and fears um, doubts regarding uh, things in their life, such as illness, whether they will get sick, whether or not they do have an illness. However, for a person who is possessed of very strong faith and very strong compassion, then whether or not they are sick or whether or not they will get sick is uh, not such a big deal. Um, in the face of this, they are able to feel a very strong sense of uh, courage, a very strong sense of um, confidence. Then it indeed in your jetty, then I got so 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 rang the same gun ally would be dumber to some ma, Marcelli, then it may be a chunk of it. So, uh, with this kind of compassion, it's possible for us to completely eradicate all of the suffering in our minds. Then I got so nyanji, a pozio sona, and I also some nothing as a same chance younger to lang, a same crushing a yosam. So even though uh, in uh, generating compassion for others, we are thinking primarily about them, we're contemplating their suffering and their needs, ultimately the benefit that we get from this practice is our own. So in terms of cultivating our compassion, it's uh, we progress from a state of having none to having some, and then from having some to having even more. So we uh, continually work on developing our compassion. Tani <laughs> 
tenji dan tenji ga so lorgi ge tola tanga tenji mambo jamba da mambo shon ware te so mambo la tenji samlo tan tenji samlo jimmo tan te so shertan ga o ta ga so tenji lorgi ge tola tenji jantik tenji shon son jamlo tchin tambo shon son ni pa shon son tenji me ta tenji ji de shiva je se son shiva ni se son tenji ge yung ga mare di jepcha sam ne mosiri chire khorang ga tenji dungur ga rin da shon du te so la Samlo tangna tani gella nya je ke ongore te ngatsu pecha la matana jukure tswa na la yo pati sola samlo tangna jukunduze In terms of how we go about uh, generating compassion there are two methods or approaches that we can take the first one is where we draw on uh, examples or situations in our immediate lives or otherwise uh, situations that we hear about in the news Uh, every day we hear about cases of suffering and injustice wars disease etc there are numerous examples that we can draw from history too in any case these uh, situations or examples of suffering we need to reflect on them extremely closely um thinking about them in a very detailed way so even though we might hear statistics of huge numbers of people involved it's important that we turn our minds to the individual nature of this suffering and this is something we can do uh without needing to turn to books or uh book learning we can do this simply by drawing on um examples and situations in our own lives then it comes deni ga teni di lorgi ti na la teni dungun nyon ke ga mate cho teni ta ngara ga pha yin na ngara ga ma yin na ka diyan sare samba ya na ngara ga po da ngara ga po mo di yin na ka diyan sare samba ya na ngara ga chyo da ngara ga teni shila lili te yin na ka diyan sare samba da ota ta chu ti te chama le ya ngara chi chi gre te na chu de ngara yin na ka diyan sare sam ni teni sam lo ta na teni sam lo ko thola chora ma bo yong gre and in um making ourselves closely acquainted with the suffering of others we need to then think uh contemplate what how would we feel or what would it be like if instead of uh these other people it were our own parents or our own children who was in this situation of suffering uh what ultimately would it be like if it were me in this situation of suffering and by contemplating in this way it's possible for us to develop a very strong feeling of compassion tani ni ba tanga to pecha ta go re pecha ta ya te pena jansim shunji a shunji da wata tani te mai be nga to jansim ke sim tani gumrum ta tani te mambo tani ta bok chu na la tani jansim sim gumrum te ha le ba jang kan dang yang manda goni mambu yore ta te ji je ba da wote ni gona je ba yore di ba te ni chung chung nyung nyung gona te yore te ni jam da mambu zindu ta te so la ta na te ni kale kale te ni nya je da shang chim ku sem rim gi rim gi te ni ga so gum na te ni ke tap ko re mo cha ma la ke re ze gum na and then the second approach uh is one where we rely on texts about uh meditation on compassion and meditation on bodhicitta for example uh the way of a bodhicitta of the way of a bodhisattva and also um uh meditation the meditation stages of uh bodhicitta the number of compassion practices in the tibetan tradition are vast uh there are, is it also a great variety some that are rather more complex and others that are more abbreviated However in any case meditation on compassion is something that every single person uh can engage in Ta tene nga cho terang ge cha cho terang shuru hon cha cho nga cho she cha song tene chang ma ge nyang ji da shang ji ji sem o ta man ta yin na nyemak ji la ta ni karma nga karma ji tin ji da ya na tele men na zang kur ji ge na la karma ni shin da o chizu shekanda otindi soso rangla chaz jerne otangne nimachila gomguenze anda yana ne zankorchikna la ngende dizu gomguenze anda tindi soso rangla chaz jerne lengunda o jerne tindi gomna tindi yabo yeongore tindi naronas 
So uh, that brings us to the end of today's teaching. It's uh, my hope that everybody here today is able to make time uh, every day, a short period of time, five or ten minutes for meditation or uh, practice on compassion and uh, bodhicitta. Um, if not five or ten minutes every day, then perhaps 20 or 30 minutes every week. In any case, if everyone could make a plan um, regarding uh, their compassion practice, this would be very good, and I would like to ask everybody to do this. <laughs> The bins are